Kol Yachol is a unique Israeli call center and outsourcing service that employs disabled adults. In Hebrew, the name has two meanings, able to call, but also able to do anything. Kol Yachol founder Gil Winch found that his workers' disabilities themselves are not the obstacle to productivity. Everybody thought that the huge trial and the biggest difficulty would be the disabilities, and it's not. The people are used to their disabilities. The biggest problem is when society shuns you and hasn't given you a place for the past 20 years, it does amazing things to your sense of self-worth and your self-esteem and self-confidence. Its office in Rishon Lezion employs 180 disabled people, including about 30 Arab Israelis. Dr. Winch, who trained in psychology, knew he had to work with disabled people differently than most employers do. In Israel, most managers have learned their stuff from the army. That's if it doesn't work, you can scream just a bit louder, it'll work better. That doesn't really work here. Dr. Winch modeled his training program on his research, where he found that successful disabled people got strong support from their parents. The whole trick, I think, and that's what makes us the only such company in the world is, that um, we managed to, uh, to bring the parental uh, mode of management into the workplace. That's why you see an awful lot of hugging and touching and warmth and you'll see two people talking, you really won't know which is the manager and which is the employee. He created a Kol Yachol Creed. That's a list of practices to be followed by all managers. They all start off, start off with parents and then managers. Parents are well advised to have at least once a week, some fun with their kids. Fun, not, not maintenance, fun. Managers have to show us in their books where they're having fun once a week with their teams. Managers work with a wide range of disabled workers. The team leader here starts his day with, an example would be four people with mental disabilities, three people with cancer, two of them the cancer has come back, uh, three blind people, one deaf person, people with, uh, with uh, a cerebral palsy, Kol Yachol's ambitious bottom line is that its workers need to be as productive as non-disabled workers. Egal was born with hydrocephalus, or fluid, on the brain. He works in the back office section of Kol Yachol. Before he discovered Kol Yachol, he was fired from many jobs after only a month or two. But he's been here for almost three years. If you need to sell 10 cells per day, if it takes me one month or two months or three months, it doesn't matter. The thing is that you get there, and they, they're going to help you to get there, no matter what. Kobe has very limited vision, but because of a software called ZoomText, he's blossomed at Kol Yachol. He does customer service and tech support for customers of the cell phone company Pelephone. I'm eight years in computers and telephones, so that's me. And I really like having, helping people. Really like helping people. Kol Yachol, which makes profits comparable to call centers employing the non-disabled, has plans this year to start new centers in both Tel Aviv and Jerusalem. The company has also had visits by executives from Switzerland, Germany, the U.S., and elsewhere. It's clear that Dr. Winch has visions to share his successes as widely as possible. Eventually we want to be all over, because you have 80-90% unemployment with, with the severely disabled everywhere and to get them back into the workplace without paying any really price for it. It's one of the most amazing things you can do and, and, and feel good about yourself, but it's also so important as a society to get everybody used to seeing disabled people in the workplace.